I'm a freshman at UW-Madison, and this semester I've been taking two courses together. One is history of science and the other art history. Together, in the courses, we've been calling ourselves science history detectives. We've been going around campus to a lot of places that most people don't really think to go and finding a lot of objects that have fallen by the wayside, uh, hidden treasures around campus. Uh, my favorite object is we have a wet specimen from zoology. It's uh, just a glass jar and it's completely full of snakes. And then we kind of turned it over to the people who developed and designed sort of the way it turned into a three dimensional reality. You know, it's one of those things that we treat labels with as much aesthetic care, you know. Some of them will go on the pedestal, some will go on the wall. What was something that surprised one of you about the way that they looked here versus what you saw in a picture? Not many people would think of a bunch of dead snakes in a jar uh, as beautiful, but in a way, because of their pattern and their color, they are. And I thought using them in the chasen and pairing them with other objects that people would immediately see as beautiful, we could make people think more about those issues.